National Security Minister Jack Warner says many casinos serve as a facade for washing dirty money. As Parliament sat to amend the Financial Intelligence Unit and Anti-Terrorism Bill, Minister Warner also claimed that a recent report showed that politicians' pockets were being filled with this money. Mr. Speaker, these casinos, he says, are a cause of concern. He said these casinos pay the bills of some politicians. These casinos pay for the political meetings of some politicians. These casinos pay for airline tickets for some politicians. These casinos pay the, salary, the salaries for some of these politicians. In other instances, Mr. Warner says those involved transfer ownership of businesses under their wife's name to avoid being the direct target. They put their, 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 their business on their wife's name. And then they build, up, and then they build, and then they build apartments. Uh -huh. The amendments to the pieces of legislation aim to widen the investigative powers of the Financial Intelligence Unit. Among other things, the unit will now have powers to suspend financial transactions it suspects may be related to money laundering or terrorism financing. Bodega Martin, Northeast MP, Carl Mimbert, accused the government of scrambling at the last minute to pass the amendments just before the Financial Action Task Force visits this country, as they risk being blacklisted. Mr. Imbert also put some on the government bench on notice. You know, a, two, a U.S. $250,000 check that has no explanation coming out of Qatar and going into the bank account of a politically exposed person in Trinidad and Tobago may come up on the radar of the Financial Action Task Force. Mr. Imbert also questioned why it took government this long to bring the amendments before Parliament when it knew since June 2010 that the AFATF raised those concerns. The amendments were passed Ms. with Cox. full opposition yes. support. For CNC3, I am yes. Kamal Georges.